that's just about everything off the car that we can get off. Now it comes to this undercarriage. So the front structure is actually good. So all of this structural part here, these two chassis rails are all good. The same with the back, the structural parts are good. It's just obviously the non-structural parts that we do need to look at. This center, however, is not good. Now, you can see obviously the, the obvious holes here. Um, you can see that this outer sill is gone. This inner sill is gone. The inner inner sill is gone. And also the inner 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 sill is also gone. Um, also this floor pan, the chassis rail is gone. Um, we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. So I think what we're gonna have to do is try and find some sort of good metal on these floor pans and then we can find out exactly what we need to cut out and replace.
Right, before we go too far on that structure, on the floor pan, we do need to brace this up. So we do need to get some box section. But for now, while we're waiting for the box section, we're gonna basically start stripping all of this area on the front and the back. And this, if it's anything like the other side, is filled with filler. So we're gonna first concentrate on this, chip all this filler off, and then we'll get to that back section.
Right, so because we couldn't continue on the underside, because we need to get some bracing in there, we decided to start uncovering all of this. Now this side is actually a whole lot better than what the other side is, which is good because this is quite a quite an interesting shape. Um, and we got a little bit carried away taking the paint and all of the filler and fiberglass off. Bearing in mind, this is all original. So all this fiberglass filler that we're taking off is all original. Um, now we got a little bit carried away and did half of the entire car, but at least it's done now. So we can see exactly what needs repairing. Obviously you've got areas here. You've got the original welds that you can see down here as well. Obviously we took this panel out to see what we could see underneath there and all that needs repairing as well. So that's gonna be it for this video. Do check us out in our next video where we're gonna continue on these rust repairs and we're hopefully gonna get some bracing inside that car so we can start on the floor and the sill sections.